Hello everyone, welcome to part four of my Cliff View project. This is the uh, third uh, city that I've uh, decided to record and put online, so hopefully I'm doing a little bit better than the other two. Uh, you can check them out uh, also on the same YouTube channel. Uh, the first one was Rockdale and the second one was called Neverwhere. Now, I can't remember what I said needed to be checked on last time. Right, I need to look into these abandoned buildings, figure out why. Um, I <laughs> think well, that's cute. Drugstore 2.0, it said. Yeah, Drugstore 2.0. Uh, abandoned, right. Not enough educated workers. Okay, so it's education. Um, I'm going to speed this up a bit here. Um, okay, so I'm having uneducated workers from somewhere. Uh, seems like I probably need an elementary school somewhere around here. Um, this seems like a good place. Uh, okay, so how's the high school coverage doing? Well, it's a bit... it seems to be generally okay. So... Okay, I remember what I was... Uh, oh, I'm getting uh, tight on capacity on high schools. Um, possibly the... Uh, That area is going to need more just because I've made it denser. Um, and I think I might need to do the same with um, elementary schools over here, too. Okay, so that should be good on that front for, for a bit. Oh, I remember. It was uh, public transit I needed to look into. So I need to pick a place to put a bus depot, uh, since I'm clearly not going to get much else into this area. Um, yeah, so I need a bus depot. Should be reasonably central, so so that I don't create a bunch of traffic jams. Uh, okay, so a bus depot is, it's a whole block in size, okay. Um, no, I'm not going to put it over there. That seems like a good place for it, right there. Okay. Probably nobody's going to like having it in their neighborhood, but uh, now they can deal. Now I need to make uh, some bus lines. Now I need to go from the residential areas into the uh, industrial and uh, office commercial office areas. Uh, and that is this area and this area. So I'm going to have a bus route loop around here and then come up through here around and uh, loop around here and then come back. Because it has to come back so people can get home again. So I'm going to, I'm going to put this back on slow speed. 
Uh, I'm back to making a, a bus line. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, okay, I'll start with a bus stop there. One there. One there. One there. One there. One there. Whoops. There. And into the industrial. Then over here, same path this will help level up the uh, industrial uh, buildings as well uh, okay and blazes did I did there? Oh, I see what I did. Okay. I've got me a functioning bus loop there. Uh, let's see if that helps anything. Well, it's certainly not going to harm anything anyway. Now, oops, I'm going to run a bus route. here. Nope. I'm going to use this road here. to connect with that route. Okay.
Okay. There we go. That is a little bit of an ad hoc thing I've got going there. But there's a reasonable chance that it will work out. Now, what do I have over here? Right, I have a bunch of residential. So I basically need another route over here. Okay, and this needs to go up into here. And we'll share a couple of stops along here. I don't really need a cross link here. That's just not going to help all that much. Because people don't need a bus to go from residential to residential. Uh, not the way the game mechanics here work anyway. Now, if I were to look in in here, um, I can see that I've got some uh, some benefit occurring from the uh, transit lines here. Okay, so they're all having some impact on the uh, on the vehicle traffic, uh, but best of all, they're getting some sort of ridership. Now, if I look in here, uh, I'm going to enable free public transport. I'm also going to enable the education boost. Um, it just seems like a uh, reasonable thing to do. Um, okay, so if I look in here, demographics, I have high unemployment, so uh, that's uh, potentially problematic. 
Um, let's see. Right, uh, education I wanted to look at. Okay, so I'm getting better on the education level. Uh, so that's really good. Yeah, that's definitely good. 15% uh, uneducated is a lot better than not enough buyers. Okay. So what do I actually need here? Well, uh, I'm going to take a look here and uh, I'm going to add some density on the commercial here. These immortal squares and the dezoning are really, really annoying. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it seems to happen reliably on these uh, irregular shaped uh, zones. Okay, so that's some higher density uh, commercial there. Now, what's the issue over here? This is low land value. Why is it low land value? Um, let's take a look at the park situation. Yeah, improving the land value is worth it. Okay. Uh, could stand a park over here, I think. And one over here. Okay. pipe and we're good ah power jumped across there okay
Okay. Now. I may be starting to create myself a traffic problem. Maybe. Um, right. Okay. Look in on education. Uh, I think I should probably. Okay, that doesn't fit in there. Um, I'm going to add a university over here as well. Uh, that should. Uh, improve some education uh, statistics here. Um, okay. Uh, now, I'm going to do something radical here. I'm going to add a what seriously ah okay I'm going to put a metro stop over by the university I'm going to put a metro stop right uh, right um, Come on, turn. Come on. Oh, for pity's sake! Okay, fine. And... Oh my! Uh, do I have... I do, okay. Oh, those are incinerators. That's not what I want. I don't have those yet. I'm not quite there yet. What I need then is a cemetery. Clearly. Okay. 
Um, Okay, hopefully that uh, clears that up. Now, back to Metro. I am going to put a Metro stop here. Now, Okay, so that's a metro line there, and metro line here, good. Now, for excitement, metro, and a stop here, and a stop here here and another stop here and finally a stop here okay speed this up. The metro line's not going to be all that useful just yet because I'm going to have to rejigger some bus routes. But um okay. What I can do is, okay, I built a metro stop. Okay, I know about the full landfill thing, etc. Full cemetery. Okay, I built a metro stop there, so I can expand the zoning here. this that's the bus depot I'll shift that over okay now uh, back in the zoning Are so good there. does my uh, transit picture look like where I put the line okay uh, zoning Thank you. 
Okay. So some extra density there. There we go. Okay, so far so good there. Um, how are my demographics shaping up here? Uh, yeah, and how's education doing? Well, not so bad actually. I really want to get to that 15,000 mark so that I can build the uh, crematoriums uh, as those are going to be critical to keeping the uh, death care stuff operating properly. Um, anyway, I'm going to head in here do some uh, additional rezoning. Okay. And uh some additional commercial rezoning here. Okay, one more there. There's a good chance that doing this will create traffic problems, but uh, I'm willing to uh, risk that. Let's take a look at the transit situ situation here. And with the denser development, I'm getting a fairly decent uh, performance out of the bus lines. Um, I'm going to um, change the color of that one to yellow. Oops. And this one, I'm going to go the other way. Okay. Now you can see the different routes. So that's, uh, that's doing nicely. Let's see what demographics have to say. Um, okay, 6% unemployment. Okay, so I have a 
people shortage. Zone that one. I can zone that one. And what is this? That's a high school. And I'm going to move that over so it's right at the intersection. And you know what? That can be residential. This one, however, will remain commercial. Okay, wow. Yeah, I've got dead people all over. That's probably making uh, everybody's eyes bleed or something like that. Um, but if the population could just tick up uh, to 15,000, um, I'll have the... Uh, The um, the technology, I guess, to um, make it happen, but population's going down, so that's not so good. Okay. Okay, I guess. Um I'm going to need to do this. And hopefully that will start improving things. Okay, so the skeletons are um, disappearing now. Okay, come on, tick over. There we go. It finally ticked over. Okay, now I can go plant a few of these. And this will make all the difference.
Okay. Right, okay, so I'll need and one there. That should sort out the dead people. Okay, so that should make things a lot happier. Okay, come on. Yep, that's sorting them out. Okay, so... Cemetery's full, I'll empty it. Empty it. empty that one. Okay, so ultimately I'm going to get rid of them. Okay, that one's empty. Now, let's look at the trash situation. Yeah, I'm st I should still be good there. And... Okay, let's look at water. Okay, water's iffy. I need to suck more water into the city. Let's do that over here. And way downstream, I have water treatment plants. need those anymore or that or that okay so far so good there Right. Now, what do I have going on over here? I have an abandoned building. Um, right.
Okay, so I'm doing this to uh, extend the commercial availability here. Okay. Okay. Okay, so far so good there. see here what's the uh, situation on my metro line yeah uh, well I'm getting some benefit from that Okay, so I'm going to put one more metro stop in. Right here. There we go. And start things rolling again. Now I figure if I put some offices right around the uh, metro stop, it should be fairly convenient for the workers. There we go. Okay, doing that should give me the uh, most uh, bang for my buck um, uh, for the area. Um, okay.
What's this? Oh. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I've created some real traffic over here. But even though I have some real traffic going on, it is flowing, so that's really good. This is getting some real use. And even this one's getting some. It'll get a lot more when I develop in here. Uh, okay. Okay, what I'm going to do here is put some, it is shift this slowly over to offices. Since both offices and plain old industrial uh, do settle industrial demand. Okay, so ultimately, the uh, manufacturing type uh, industrial is going to move, I think, over the river. Uh, and this will eventually fill in as office space here. So... Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So I'm going to need to get a road across, which I'm not going to do that way. Okay. Um, I'm running close to an hour for this part already, so I'm going to um, mess around in here a bit. Okay, so I don't have the demand for the uh, uh, residential at the moment, so... I'm going to give it some office space here. And that'll fill in the in some of the demand. And it gives these people somewhere to work that's close to them. Um, I probably should look up the uh, 
commercial uh, the commercial offices and see what they actually uh, want. Oh, that one's empty. I can get rid of that. Ah, that one's empty too. I can get rid of that one. fill that in and uh, no doubt make traffic worse yet actually I think I can do something to make traffic slightly better by uh, putting a flyover in there I should be able to take some of the through traffic off this junction uh, which should improve things overall ah I just made it to Grand City and that gives me my solar power plant and that's a good thing because uh, it generates a lot more power than the wind stuff Okay, so so I have a fairly uh, dense city going on here, fairly small. Um, what I'm going to do, I think, in the next part is over the road here, I'm going to put a regular industrial section in over here with a uh, overpass here and uh, yeah with that I'll be able to move most of the regular polluting industry over there uh, and I'll do I'll have a uh, metro stop in there uh, which will mean that uh, the workers shouldn't have too much trouble getting there um, okay, so, so that's good. I can see over here there isn't a huge amount of traffic. Which is not surprising, really. Um, yeah, so this should, uh, should work fairly well. If this gets busy, I might have to replace this with a roundabout. Um, anyway, um, so I'm going to take a quick zoom in here, and we can t have some have a look see at the uh, at the city. Okay. So you can see here, the city looks a bit like a city. Funny that, eh? Um, now, in a real city, this type of traffic pattern would be sheer gridlock. 
but uh, these simulated drivers are pretty good at uh, there must be some sort of automated car network or something because they're pretty good at disambiguating these intersections um, but it looks quite a bit like a city here the buildings and everything um, you can still see the cliffs through them uh, which is kind of cool anyway uh, I should obviously save the game Huh, that was fun. Let's do a quick save. Okay, I'm gonna save the game. Huh, something definitely crashed. Uh, try saving with an overwrite. No, it won't overwrite. Uh huh. So the game definitely uh, crashed out. Uh, whoops. Okay, so I'll do another quick save just to make sure it did. And uh, back out here. Anyway, uh, that's the end of part four of the Cliff View project. I'll see everyone back for part five. And thank you for watching.